waxaan ogay siineyna cashar kan qaybta Soomaaliga ah markii ay dhamaato gadaal inuu kala socdo qayb English ah oo aan ugu talagalnay caruurta qurbaha joogta ee aan si fiican Soomaaliga si dhamaystiran u wada fahmeen in ay intaas dambana si dhageystaan qaybta Soomaaliga oo faahfaahsan markay dhageystaan si fahamka ugu dhamaystirmo marka waalidiin badana dhici karta inay si caruurtooda ka caawi karin si sax ah casharkii inay ugu sharxaan aan fahamkiisi qaybtaas danba u shita marka si dhamaystiran u fahmeysan Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh ku soo dhawaada casharkii 20 iyo koobaad ee tarbiyada islaamka barbaarinta caruurta ee aan dhaqanka wanaagsan iyo akhlaaqda islaamka ku baranaynay maanta waxaan ka hadli doonaa insha Allah ta'ala salaamta iyo sida aan isu salaamayno iyo ajarka ay leedahay salaamtu sida aan ognahay salaamtu waa duco aan isu duceynayno hadaan nahay muslimiinta oo aan leenahay nabadgelyo korkaaga ha ahaato nabadgelyo iyo naxariis iyo baraka korkaaga ha ahaato een salaamtu waxay macnaha ka keenaysa jacayl iyo maaragtay midnimo ayay keenaysa waa wax islaamku isku gartaan Salaamtu waxay tusinaysa sinnaashaha dadka muslimiin tahay ay siman yihiin ayoo midab iyo koox iyo qayb aan loo kala qaadin walaala siman oo muslimiina in aan nahay ayay tusinaysa marka labada qof ay is salaamaan ayagoo aan ayagoo gacnahooda aan isku salaamaya salaamti islaamka oo afka heedo assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh na layimid ilaahay wa u dhaafaya dambiyadooda inta aysan gacnaha kala qaadin ama kala tagin sida darteed nabigu alayhi salaatu wasalaam uu nabaraya inuu yahay qofka ajarka badan oo ilaahay u dhaw qofka marka hore salaam ta bilaabay waxaan baranayna toban qodob insha Allah ta'ala si fiican ila dhageysta qodobka koobaad waxa weeye markastaba waa inaan ku dadaalna inaan annagu salaam ta hor sameeyno inaan salaam qofka ku bilowno oo waxa koobaad oo aan ku bilaabayna ay tahay salaam qodobka labaad qofka yar inuu salaamo ayaa fiican qofka ka weyn qofka yar inuu salaamo qofka ka weyn ayaa fiican qodobka saddexaad qofka socdaahi inuu salaamo qofka fadhiya ayaa fiican ama kan taagan uu salaamo kan fadhiya qodobka afraad aan dadka yare oo kooxda mathalan ba wada socoto yare inay salaamaan dadka badan haday dad yar iyo dad badan isla kulmaan kuwa yare markaas oo tirada yare inay salaamaan dadka badan oo ka badan ayaa fiican qodobka afraa shanaad waxa sunna ah in oo gacanta la iska salaamo dadka muslimiinta ah مثلا بالرقي أو أي جعناها إسكا سلامان قبل هنا جعناها إسكا سلامان سيد صار أرتي أما هذا يسأحين ضد محرمه وقرابة قضب كش اللي حاد وحاسنا أه إن أن سلانه قف كست قف كي أن نقان يقف كي أن نقان أو نبي جن سيد أوير عليه السلام والسلام إن السلانتد على من عرفته ومن لم تعرف قف كي أتقان iyo qofki aad aqoon ba labadaba ina salaantid wa qodobka lixaad qodobka todobaad wa in aan markan qof salaamayno kor salaamta u niraahna aan ila qadar uu qofka aan salaamayna ah maqli karo inti uu naga maqli karo inaan salaanno wey si uu qofkaas u maqla salaamta ee aan hoos aan u dhihin qodobka sideedaad hadii qofna salaamo ee aan salaamti uga jawaabayno wa in aan si u maqli karo cod dheer ah uga jawaabna salaamti aan uga raddina si uu san qofkaas hadii uu codkeena maqli waayo uu san ugu maleen in aanan salaamin mid kale salaamti ka dhacmaysa hadii aad cod hoose ku jawaabtid waajibka ku saaray marka inaan cod uu qofku maqli karo ku salaana way qodobka sagaalaad waa sunno in aan is salaano markasta oo aan kulano iyo markasta oo aan kala tageyna labadaba qodobka tobnaad ilaahay subxaanahu wa ta'ala ajar farabadan ayuu nasiinaya markii aan is salaano 
oo maxaa yeelay qof boq qof ka kale ee walaalkiisa ayuu u duceynaya intaas ayaa casharkii dhamaadkiisii ah waa ku mahadsantihiin dhageysigeena iyo daawashadeena jazaakumullahu khaira ilaahi ajr badan haydi siyo waxaan rajaynayna in aan casharka dambo ku kulano sidaas iyo nabad galyo assalamu alaykum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد Welcome to lesson 21 of Islamic upbringing Today we are going to talk about salam How to make salam according to to the teachings of Islam and the reward of Salam. Salam is a dua of peace for our fellow Muslims. It creates love and unity among believers. It shows that we are all equal brothers and sisters in Islam. When two Muslims meet each other, and greet each other by shaking hands. Allah forgives them before their hands separate. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, The dearest person to Allah is, well, is one who greets first. We learn ten points. Number one, we must always be first to make salam. Two, a young person must greet those who are elder than him. Four, uh, three, a person walking must greet one who is sitting. Four, a small group must greet a bigger group. Five, we make salam by shaking hands as far as possible. Six, we make salam to those we know and to those we do not know. Seven, we make salam in a loud voice so that the other person can hear our salam. Eight, we also answer this, uh, the salam of other person so that he can hear our reply. Nine, we make salam each time we meet and when we depart. Ten, oh Allah rewards us for making salam. Thank you so much. Jazakumullahu khaira. I hope to see you in the next lesson. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.